Hey guys, it's Bucky MG here, and today we're doing my top five games of 2016. And um, this is based on games that I've played throughout the year. So if a lot of like AAA titles or something that you liked a lot may have not made this list because I probably have not played it. Um, it doesn't mean it's not good. I just haven't played it, you know. Um, so yeah, um, let's get started. I'm going to start from five and work my way down to one. So my number five game is, I would say, the reboot of the series for Need for Speed. Either a reboot or a remake. Not 100% sure, but they just call it Need for Speed. Um, I like this game because it was fresh. Um, had a creative story to it. It was visually stunning. Um, it was really fun to play with my friends because I actually had friends to play this with and um, challenge them and see who, where people were and what cars they had and what they, you know, they look like. Um, it was a really fun. I really like the Need for Speed games. To me, they're my favorite um, racing game. Uh, so, yeah, that's one reason why I picked it. Um, the one thing I did not like is the amount of cars they had. Definitely did not have enough cars. They, I would say 15, maybe 20 cars. And I feel like they could have had another 15 cars. Uh, that's just me. They just definitely did not have enough cars to use. Um, number four was Dark Souls 3, which unfortunately it sounds like it's going to be the last Dark Souls game, unfortunately. Uh, I really enjoyed the Dark Souls series. Um, to me, I suck at Dark Souls, but I still like the game. Um, I haven't played a whole ton. Uh, it's right up there at the medi uh, medieval fantasy games that I'll play a lot. Of those games so um, it's challenging which is another thing so it's not like super easy um, and I'm not talking about just like changing difficulties it's already hard oh it's built that way so yeah um, I suck at it so I've never been a Dark Souls game but you know I still like playing them a lot and it's a lot of fun it's challenging which is what I, which is one thing I like about it um, and it's an RPG too, so it's different for everyone. Everyone's character is going to be a little bit different. Their outcome is going to be different. It's really fun. Um, I don't really have anything to say about it. I haven't gotten far in the game. I'd have to go back and play a lot more of it. Um, so yeah. Uh, my number three is Fallout Shelter. Um, that is a really fun uh, mobile game to play on the go. Uh, I would say that it got a really good update recently this past uh, fall slash winter. And I'm sure when it came out, uh, I don't have it installed on my phone right now. But yeah, it's it's uh, basically you build your own vault. And you and you collect weapons and you send your people out and you gotta protect from raiders and um, uh, death claws and fires and all these other different things to run your vault. Uh, it's a lot of fun if you like games like that. I liked it because it was Fallout based, but the new update adds a lot more too, which makes it a lot more fun. Where you can send your uh, vault dwellers out on. Um, out on like quests and you actually get to go to like these places where they go to for the quest and you get to uh, interact and watch and like help them out and stuff and that's so much fun I haven't gotten to, I haven't done that part because I haven't haven't installed it since uh, before that but yeah I liked it it was a lot of fun and it was it's just really fun to do and compare like your vaults and stuff with your friends and all that yeah, I recommend if you haven't played that game, I get it for mobile. Most most phones can play it, so it's really fun. Follow Shelter. It's free to play. Alright, my number two would be Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, 
I put this on my list at number two. Um, I have to be honest, I haven't beat the game yet. Uh, but I put it on you because it's it's new Pokemon, and it's not like the same as Pokemon has always been. We go around and collect your eight badges. Um, you go around and you do these trials of these different islands. It's basically the world. The world for this game is kind of based off Hawaii and all that. So it's got like a couple different islands, and you go around doing different trials. Which to me, so far, the part I've gotten like five trials done or something like that, and they're not very hard at all. Even some of the gyms, a lot of the gyms are harder than these, and. And I mean, I like the concept, but I think we need to make the game, the trials harder. That's just my opinion. Plus, I haven't gotten beaten the game. If maybe it will get harder, I I don't know. You know. So yeah, I like how it's fresh. It's a new new way. I I hope Pokemon doesn't do this for all the games, but changing it up once in a while is, is not bad, and it's brings freshness to the series and it gets uh, people who haven't bought the game in a while to possibly buy it again and I would say my number one game for 2016 that I have played uh, would be Watch Dogs 2 and I recently beat it this week so yeah um, to me it's a really fun I would say Grand Theft Auto-esque with a different like with the hacking of um, system added in um, it's a really fun RPG and open world where you can basically do a lot of different uh, fun things while getting to go around and hack big corporations and sneak in and steal data and you get to use your drones and your RC car which is a lot of fun and it adds a new element to the game from the first Watch Dogs. Uh, but the one thing I have to say is I, the, they claim that the San Francisco Bay Area that they have for the game is bigger than um, Watch Dogs 2 which took place in Chicago and I totally disagree. I think the first Watch Dogs is much bigger. I feel like they took the areas of the San Francisco Bay, the different like su um, suburbs of San Francisco, and I think I feel like they made it much smaller than what they actually are to accommodate for the game. The other thing I have to have to do is I don't think th I feel like they really dumbed down the um how oh, what was it called? Oh yeah, the traffic. I really feel like they they always uh, they go for go on the traffic like I mean yeah there's cars but it's not like it would be in the real game and that's what I want I want it to be I want to be like playing this game that takes place in this real world like I was actually standing there and looking out and over the city but in the game you know I mean I understand we have we have hardware limits and so much we can do but come on guys we're in now 2017 and we have virtual reality let's improve our games that take place at real world locations and let's make it more realistic and stop um, with these uh, half-assed uh, new uh, half-assed locations that aren't 100% close to the real world. So yeah. Um, so that's my top five games. I had five more on this list. I guess I don't play. I mean I play a lot of games. It's just I don't play a lot of new games I guess. As you want to say. So don't kill me. I like talking about games a lot. I didn't really play a lot of Nintendo games that came out this year that it, at least that I saw. So yeah. Yeah, if you like this video and you want to see my 20 my top 5 games I'm looking forward to in 2017, which will be coming out probably sometime later this week or next week after we 
get uh, watch the reveal of the Nintendo Switch and see what games are coming out for that for the at least the launch um, uh, section the next couple months when it comes out. Um, so yeah, that will be coming later because I want to see what games they have coming out and what else. So look forward to that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video and comment down below what some of your favorite games were from 2016 and what you liked about them or even share your video with you saying what you liked about 2016 for gaming you know um, don't forget the bell icon on our channel so you don't miss the next video that comes out of my top five most anticipated games 2017 and any other video that comes out especially when we release our first uh, podcast for, po um, for Pokemon and video games it's gonna be great and it's gonna be more entertaining more high quality and we're gonna have more news to bring you so yeah I'm Bucky Gamgee and I will see you later